Okay, guys, I know that I'm live, but like I always say at the beginning of all these live events, I'm going to wait until both windows say that I am live now. Okay. Okay, they both say live now. All right. Good morning, everyone. Glamour here. Welcome back to Wake Up With Glamour on my Made With Love by Glamour channel. Today is March 23rd, Monday, and um, I have had a lot going on <laughs> this past week. Um, not all positive, but I'm going to try to stay away from any negativity because that's not what I want this channel to be. Um, so I don't even know where to begin, but I I don't want to really discuss um, my daughter's accident that I'm going to tell you about too much live just because I'm very emotional about it still and I don't want to cry on camera. Boy, my hair looks very poofy today, doesn't it? <laughs> um, but last week, either Thursday or Friday, I got the phone call that all parents dread um, that your child has been in an accident. So, oh, see, I told you, I get emotional. So we were told where the wreck was and to go and meet them there, go meet the police and everybody there. And uh, so from there, um, it was a rollover accident. It could have been a lot worse than it was. My daughter was a passenger in the back seat behind the driver and thank goodness everybody was wearing their seat belts um, there were no fatalities um, one person did have to get airlifted the pass um, the front passenger had to get airlifted to the hospital my daughter and I rode in the ambulance to one hospital my husband followed and then from there they took x-rays but they sent her to a trauma unit or a hospital that had a trauma unit waiting for her. So when we got there, everybody just started working on her. And she had what they call seat belt sign. So she had, um, actually on this side, she had her, she had a, it looked like somebody painted a seat belt on her with purple, dark purple paint. So she had all through here and all over her tummy and um, really, really bad. She was hanging upside down from the car. Um, and they kept her for 24 hours observation because they said that a huge, huge percentage of people with self seat belt sign typically end up having internal injuries or bleeding or something go wrong internally that requires surgery. So they wanted to keep her 24 hours, um, for observation. And I spent the night with her at the hospital because they said she had major PSD, PTSD. Um, she didn't want to close her eyes because she kept reliving the accident. And I know what PTSD feels like. I've had it pretty much since I was 18 years old and still suffer from it. So I know exactly what she was feeling. And so I stayed there with her. And the next day she was released. So she is okay. She's very banged up. She's very sore and she's a very fortunate young lady and um, could have been a lot worse. Um, but anyway, that's all I'll say about that. But I considered not doing this live event just because emotionally I'm kind of a wreck myself. Um, I feel like I've been in an emotional crash wreck, whatever. And um, it comes and goes, the tears. It's subsiding more and more, but yesterday I was pretty depressed, just thinking a lot. And I thought, you know, maybe I'm spending too much time on YouTube and stuff. Maybe I just need to, I mean, I know she's an adult, she's 23, but she still needs me. And I'm thinking maybe I'm spending too much time online trying to start my crochet slash beauty channel business on YouTube and maybe I should at least stop the live events. But then I thought better of it. You know, I already went from daily live events to just Mondays. So I thought I'm going to continue to do this as long as I can. Um, 
so here I am. <laughs> and so that's, she's actually okay. She's been sleeping here. She slept here the night that we got her home from the hospital. And then the next day she tried to sleep at her place, but she woke up with major, major nightmares. So last night she spent the night here again. And, you know, I think she should do that for at least a week or two until it's not as bad. She may never get rid of the PTSD. It might always be hard for her. I don't know. Um, I know that it has been for me. I know that what got me to have PTSD is totally completely different than what brought her to that. But um, anyway, um, so that's all I'll say about that. I don't really want to discuss it a whole lot. I want to thank everyone that comes in here that sent their love and their prayers in my Facebook group page because y'all really, really um, shared your love and uh, sent lots of prayers our way, Finesse's way, and our and my way, um, just because that is the phone call that most parents dread ever getting. So I just want to thank y'all for that. Y'all really helped me through that difficult time, and you're still sending your love and prayers as I update y'all. Um, so anyway, um, other than that, um, I've been practicing my knitting. I've been, have I done any crocheting? I don't think I've done any crocheting. Um, I Today or tomorrow, I'm going to for sure do start my basic knitting tutorials. So I'm still trying to figure out if I want to um, make separate videos for like, I, I know of one, two, I know of three ways to cast on for knitting. So I'm not sure if I want to make them each individual videos. And then y'all can try all three and then whichever way that y'all are comfortable with, that can be the way that you practice. Or should I put all three of the casting ons on one tutorial? Or will that be too much information at once? And then I'm going to do a, uh, a knit stitch tutorial. And I think I'll make two videos of that one because I'll do the first one in English style. And then I'll do the second one in continental style. And then I'll teach the purl stitch. Because if you know how to knit and purl, you pretty much can do anything. Once you learn how to decrease and increase, you can pretty much make any project um, in a pattern. Um, so then I'll do two purling um, tutorials, one um, English style and one continental style. And then I, I know of two different ways of binding off. I'm sure there's more than that, but I'm a beginner crocheter as well. So I know of two ways to bind off. So maybe I'll, um, I'll do two separate tutorials on that as well. Um, let me see what else have I oh the glamour girls were here um, this weekend and I put a couple videos up on my Facebook group page and on my personal Facebook group page one of them my daughter my granddaughter is um, the youngest one is wiggling her teeth she's got she's got the two front teeth missing and now the two on the side are wiggling and so one of the front ones is growing in finally um, but yeah I got that on video just you know because I know Later on when she's older, she'll think that's adorable. I hope <laughs> and then um, This week I also put a video of I taught my Glamour baby the youngest one how to knit um, English style I showed her one stitch and she says let me try let me try and I said well Let me make one more. Okay, so you can really see what I did I showed her the second one, boom, and then I let her have it, and I turned my camera on, my phone camera, and she had it. I've got video of it on my uh, group page and on my personal Facebook group page. My personal Facebook group, group page is Glamour Wilson. My Facebook group page is Glamour's All Crafts Show and Tell Circle. Um, is it Glamour's All Crafts Show and Tell? Yeah. <laughs> got so many channels, so many pages, I get confused, so many Twitter accounts, Instagram accounts, um, yeah, just crazy. Um, what else? Oh, and then after I showed her, my son came in, 
and the oldest glamour girl and they wanted to try it too so I got video of Daniel my son my 30 year old son also knitting um, and then I didn't get video of Danielle knitting um, because then we started doing things but she learned how to knit as well so let me show I and I even put a picture of what I turned that little three generation little project um, so I call it my my three generation dish towel <laughs> because I worked on it um, my son worked on it and his girls worked on it so three generations let me go ahead and grab that so this is what we made and I did a crochet edging on it uh, it's a uh, like a shell with some picots on the end but this is the um, dish towel that we made that we all worked on and it's got some imperfections but that's okay that's what I love about it because it definitely shows that all of us worked on it you can see three different tensions on it um, because we each knitted with different tensions <laughs> so I thought that was kind of cool um, uh oh, the lighting just went off, didn't it? Because I did that. Eee, come on, back lighting. Oh, there. I look like a normal color again. <laughs> um, so the yeah, what? I don't know what else. We hung out outside yesterday because it was actually a really nice day, like seventy-eight or something like that. Today is going to be possibly eighty, and I know I'm wearing a sweater, but it's because it's still early in the morning, and so I'm kind of cold. Um, oh, I just saw my little crochet hook. This is a little crochet hook that I ordered online. It's a sterling silver teeny tiny crochet hook, and it even has the little the little thumb indention for your hand. It's so cute. Um, I, the chain I got too long. I wanted it about right there, but yeah, hangs a little too low. <laughs> anyway, that's off subject, but that's me, right? <laughs> I tend to jump from one subject to the other. Oh, and I did my nails today because I'm going to probably be doing a tutorial, like I said. It's just white nail polish. I use my Rock Hard um, base coat. And then I used just a pure white. It's called, it, I forget what it's called, Snow Me White. It's called Snow Me White. It's by, hmm, I guess Sinful Colors is what it's by. I'm shaking look at that I can't I've been shaking a lot this week and then I used my rock top coat this these rock products that you can buy at Sally's really really help your polish stay on long and then on top for the um, ring finger nails I got this in my beauty box five um, box <laughs> couple weeks ago so I use that just on my pinkies because if I do make a tutorial um, you can't see it. it's too bright yeah because if I do make a tutorial my knitting needles are the same color as that glitter so I thought oh that'll match <laughs> so yeah I did that yesterday polished my nails uh oh there goes the lighting again what can I do to fix it there we go is it back yes it's back um so I was just gonna say that I don't see anyone in here but I do see Emma Perez in here and she says hi Glamma I love the nails <laughs> thank you um, so I think that's pretty much all I did. So I'm just going to um, just open it up to you. <laughs> and right now it's just Emma in here. Um, not I shouldn't say just Emma in here, but I'm just I'm trying to say there's only one person in here right now. However, it does say that six people are watching, so there are other people in here. <laughs> um, maybe they're just shy, or maybe they're just waiting for me to turn it over to them. So anyway, as I think of more things that I did um, this week, I will let y'all know within the hour. It's 1022 right now. I did kind of, I've been on for 14 minutes, so I was a little bit late getting on today. <clears throat> oh, Renee Hobson is in here, and she says, hi, Glamma. Hi, Renee. <laughs> Emma says, glad all is well. Love the crochet hook on your neck. Oh, thank you. It was only like, I don't know. It was less than $15, I believe, for the hook. And then I bought the chain separate at Walmart. Oh, the color went off again. Why? Why do you keep doing that? Huh. 
there. For some reason, ah, I don't know. Oh well. <clears throat> and then someone named Eden Dicosimo Dicosimo put a smiley face in here. <laughs> Hi, Eden. And Cheryl's in here. Cheryl says, "So, did you get to watch American Idol Thursday? Do we watch it, babe?" I don't think we did. No, they recorded. Oh, that didn't. Oh, we didn't, didn't get to watch it, Cheryl. It didn't yeah. record. It and wasn't that the day of the accident? Was it Thursday night or Friday night? Um, it was Tuesday night. T Tuesday night. Oh yeah. my word, my week is totally. Wednesday and Thursday at the hospital. And then... Oh my word. Okay, so anyway, I he just told me the accident was Tuesday, and then Wednesday and Thursday was spent at the hospital. But anyway, no, I didn't get to watch it. I don't know why it didn't record on my DVR, so we're going to have to find it. Um, <clears throat> Adam usually finds things online, puts them onto his little thumb drive, and then plugs it into our TV. We have a, a smart TV. I guess it's smart. I don't know. <laughs> I wish it was a touch TV. <laughs> my laptop's a touch laptop, so I don't know why. One day I was up by the TV, and I tried to touch it to choose what I want. I'm like, duh, it's not a touch TV. <laughs> but anyway, no, I didn't watch it, so don't tell me anything. <laughs> but I'm excited to watch it. Man, I need to fix the color on this. Let me see if I put it down and then bring it back up. Will it fix it? Sorry, guys, for moving the camera around. What is happening? Is that maybe the light outside is changing? There's sunshine. Uh, oh well yeah what is happening maybe I put this down oh there we go that helps a little bit I think no it just went back how about if I move this in front of the sunlight oh that works if I move that in front of the sunlight in the window behind me okay y'all are probably like I don't care about the light just talk to us glamour <laughs> okay um Judy Williams is in here and she says hi glamour hi Judy and Eden says love your channel oh thank you um so is this your first time in a live event I think it is isn't it I don't remember the name Eden it's a very pretty name um and then Cheryl says if you can look it up JLo wears a dress that keeps changing colors Ooh. Yeah, we'll definitely be looking it up, putting it on the thumb drive, and watching the whole episode on TV, maybe tonight. I don't know. Um, so, wow, that sounds exciting. I always love um, watching American Idol just to see what her makeup's going to look like, what her hair um, style is that night, and what she's wearing. She wears a lot of short stuff, doesn't she? When she first comes out and she goes to shake everyone's hands, she can't even bend over because her booty will show because she wears such short things sometimes. Cheryl says, sorry, typed it before you said not to tell you anything, LOL. No, 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 that part's okay. Um, just don't tell me anything about who went home or anything like that if they showed that. that I don't want that, that surprise spoiled. <laughs> but no, that's okay. What she's wearing or what they said is fine. It's just I don't want to know who went home or who did great, who didn't do great, because I want to watch that for myself. <laughs> And Cheryl, I just want to thank you for all the awesome, heartfelt comments that you've left on my uh, Facebook group page. You're such a sweetheart. And um, yeah, that's all I'll say. Eden says, yes, it's my first time. Oh, well, welcome. I hope I see you in here more often um, starting today. I'll be on here Mondays at 10 a.m. Um, at least until... Yeah, it should be every Monday at 10 a.m. And hopefully I won't have to stop my live events. Um, hopefully crazy things keep happening. Hopefully crazy things will stop happening in my life. Not keep happening. Stop happening in my life. Um, yeah, so I, I don't think I can handle too much more emotional stuff. <laughs> I'm being as strong as I can. And the strength is starting. I, I need some more spinach like Popeye because the strength is starting to wear off. <laughs> Emma says love your hair oh thank you I actually curled it for y'all today and um, it's my first time trying this little um, um, iron it's like a wand and it, it's thick at the top and then it goes really skinny like an icicle um, down on the bottom I don't know what they call that wand but 
you just get it and you hold the you hold the curling iron with one hand and just wrap your hair around it and that's what I did yeah <laughs> so yeah just a bunch of curls and I didn't even bother running my fingers through it because then it would have just become a big old fuzz ball so yeah <laughs> thank you <laughs> and uh, Eden says thank you to Cheryl because she said welcome um, so yeah what did y'all do this week um, and this week or last week and this weekend after I left y'all on Monday did y'all do anything exciting did you work on any exciting projects did you learn any cool makeup techniques or anything <laughs> Emma Emma says looks great thank you makes my hair look shorter but that's okay my hair is too long I need to cut these ends <laughs> maybe I'll do a tutorial on how to use this um, iron wand that I used but yeah, it was my first time using it. We bought it at a thrift store in Washington when we went and got my daughter a couple months ago from Washington when we made the road trip up there. And we went to a thrift store looking for, I think, a pet taxi for my husband's ferret. And of course, we found the pet taxi, but we also bought my little um, iron curler wand thingy. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll do a tutorial on it because I know that with my hair, I don't wash my hair every day. Um, I wash it like once a week because that's all my hair needs. It doesn't get oily or anything. Um, so when I take a shower, I just usually pin it up or do a messy bun thing. Um, but I know this will probably last all week for me and little by little, it'll start looking more, like more relaxed beachy waves. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> okay, I'm going to refresh cuz I'm all out of comments from y'all. Let me see if y'all left any other comments. Okay. Um Renee says I have been whoops, it just popped just jumped up. Renee says I have been working on a new crochet stitch, the interlac. Is that how you say it? I've seen that 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 stitch name before, but I did I've never heard anyone say it. Is it called interlac stitch? Very easy and fun. Ooh, I'll have to look it up and see what it looks like. I forgot what that looks like. And then Cheryl says, yes, I like JLo too, but you are so right about what she wears. There are so many young girls that look up to her. Yep. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, people got to be careful what they do when they have young teeny boppers trying to emulate them, huh? Lisa Wilkins is in here and she says, Morning, Glamma. We made maple syrup this weekend. Yum, yum. Ooh, you made maple syrup. How awesome is that? <laughs> and then Eden says, I have been trying to crochet ruffle scarves. Oh, with that um with that ruffle little material that you can buy and it just has little holes like every maybe two inches or so. I have some of that that was sent to me from Red Heart. And uh, they actually sent me a little um, a few products and I still haven't used it and I said it, everything that I make from those products or from the from that shipment that they sent me that I was going to um, do a giveaway with whatever project I made with it so I still need to do that and give it away um, so yeah let me know how it's going is it is it fun are you figuring it out Eden the ruffle scarf I watched a few tutorials on it and it looks like it's pretty easy um, but yeah, let me know how it goes. And if you're in my um, Facebook group page, I would love for you to post a picture in there. I'd love to see it. Um, life of a stay-at-home mom says, hey, Glamma. Hi, Life. <laughs> I don't know what to talk. Oh, I'll call you stay-at-home mom. <laughs> um, I think this is your first time in here as well. Welcome. And uh, hope to see y'all in here every Monday with me. Cheryl says, mmm. <laughs> she says she would love to know how to make maple syrup. So I'll let y'all talk about that later after the live event. Um, if y'all want to message each other with that. Um, so if anyone has any questions, I am more than willing to, to answer them. Or, uh, yeah, I would love to hear from y'all. So that's what this is. This live event is for Q&As every Monday. Y'all can either... Um, tell me what's going on in y'all's lives or you can ask me questions that you've been wanting to ask me You can ask me semi personal questions <laughs> and you can ask me anything about crochet or um, If there's projects of mine that you've tried to uh, to make and you're kind of stuck I'll try to remember a lot of the older tutorials. I don't 
remember what I did. I have to. I would have to go rewatch it myself. But I will try to help if you have questions. Um, so yeah, let me know any questions that you have. Crochet or personal, just post them right over here, and I'll, I'll read them out loud and try to answer them. Eden says, yes, they are pretty easy. Love your vids. Aw, thank you, and thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me in my channel and crocheting along with me, and pretty soon we can knit together, too. <laughs> oh, I have another new person in here, Green Energy X9. Hi. <laughs> And they say, hi, Glamour. I'm Nancy. I love your vids. I have been crocheting for six months. Ooh, how's it going? Hi, Nancy. <laughs> I'm glad that you gave me your name. A lot of people that have um, account names that aren't really personal names, I don't ever know what to call them, like life of a stay-at-home mom. I'm just going to call her stay-at-home mom <laughs> for now. So thank you for giving me your real name, Nancy. Um, so... Um, what made oh, my my leg was stuck to the chair? <laughs> um, so, what made you want to learn crochet? Um, and where did you first learn it from? Are you learning from YouTube? And then Cheryl says, "I thought your granddaughter was so cute helping Adam on his bike. Yeah, she's she her <clears throat> her brain just is always trying to figure out how something moves or how something works. She's just." And she's very quiet. She's a she's my very quiet glamour girl. <laughs> she's really really quick. Um, so yeah, they my my two glamour girls definitely have different personalities. Um, they're both very loving, but Danielle's the more outgoing one, um, at least here at home, and Cassidy's the more quiet one. So you would think that when I went to their talent show last at the end of the, the last day of school last year, you would think that Danielle would be the one to raise her hand and volunteer to go up on stage and do something. Nope. She got really shy in public. But Cassidy, the quiet one, she's like, I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. And she got up there and sang and stuff with her friends. So, yeah, it's just really weird. Um, around us, Danielle's very comfortable and um, very... Um, outgoing and social butterfly around us but and Cassidy's the more quiet one but yeah Cassidy learns really fast and so when she saw that Papa was working on his bike she wanted to go see what he was with what he was doing she goes that's what that looks like under that hood and she was just totally into it so yeah they're adorable I love them <laughs> even if they weren't my glamour girls I would think they were adorable <clears throat> I did doing three slippers for gifts, so I decided to make one self ballerine style. Oh, cool. um, what kind of slippers did you make? And then Emma, okay, you said for myself, you corrected yourself. And then Green Energy X9 says, What do you do if you have made something that takes several skeins of yarn? Skeins. I, I don't know why I don't like to say skeins. I think that's the correct way to say it, but I always say skeins. It just looks better. I don't know. I don't see an A in there, so I don't know why it's skeins. Anyway, when you that takes several skeins of yarn and it comes out smaller on one side of the piece than the other, and I'm using the same yarn comes out small are you making some uh oh I just lost connection ah my face went away babe I know so I'm sure they can probably still hear me oh there I am again sorry guys lost connection there for a second um so green energy are you making oh I just went away again are you making something rectangular square or what and now when you're saying that it's coming out smaller on one end is it coming out like smaller like this getting smaller like that or is it getting smaller like that or like that I mean is it looking like a triangle on the top or like a triangle on one side but straight on the other um, and when you say what do you do um, do you mean how to correct that or maybe what you're doing wrong so yeah let me know what how it's coming out how it's getting smaller. Okay, Iris, it looks like it might be Beckholt. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. 
she says, hey, Glamma, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> Hi, Iris. Welcome to the morning live event. Yay. <laughs> I'm here every Monday, so join me again next Monday. I think this is your first time in here because I don't remember anyone by the name of Iris before. So I'm so glad to have you in here. We're getting some new people. Yay. <laughs> are remembering that I'm on here on Mondays. Either that or they just happen to um, find my channel and see that there's a live event going on. Um, but I'm doing good. And Green Energy says, I have learned from YouTube only and am addicted. I understand. Because that's kind of, I learned from a book, but then I started watching YouTube tutorials on crochet and oh my word, yes, I was literally hooked. And then she says, I love it. And making your messenger bag next. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I tried to make that as simple as possible. And it I had been being I had been being asked. I had been getting, I don't know how to say it. I, a messenger bag had been requested for a long time. I'll just say it that way. I can't think today. And it took like two months of me just, you know, doing other tutorials, but in the back of my head, I was always trying to figure out how to make the easiest messenger bag without having too many pieces to sew together. And so finally, it dawned on me how I could do it in all one piece. There is no, um, there's not even two pieces. It's just all one piece. The only thing you have to sew are the sides together. And so, yeah, I finally came up with it and I was so proud of myself <laughs> because I hate sewing. <laughs> I mean, by hand, I love sewing with a machine, but I, I don't like sewing by hand. So yeah, I can't wait to see your messenger bag. Um, Wild Cobra 888. Hi, Roman. Says, good morning, Glamma, and all in the chat room. So Iris says, good morning, Wild Cobra 888. Eden says, good morning. <laughs> Everyone's saying good morning to each other. Um, Patricia says, good morning, Glamma. Hi, everyone. Hi, Patricia. You made it. I don't think you made it last week or I forgot what you said you were doing that you weren't able to make it, but you thought you'd be able to make it today. So I'm glad. Yay. Emma says two with fringes, one boot and my ballerina. Ooh, those are, those sound really pretty. Those sound like really pretty slippers, Emma. Are you going to post pictures on our Facebook group page or have you already? And maybe I missed it. Um, Man, I made I made a boo boo accident. I forgot to look up the winner of my Glamas All Crafts Show and Tell Project of the Week contest. Usually, the contest starts Friday morning and it ends Sunday at eight a.m. Central Time, my time. And I've just had so much going on that I I forgot to uh, I forgot to see who the winner was. So I extended it to. Um, I extended the contest till after I'm done with this live event and then I'll choose a winner and go put the picture up on my uh, cover photo, group group page cover photo. Whew, sorry guys, I'm having a hard time um, getting my thoughts together. <sighs> I have to compose myself. <laughs> okay, let me see. Iris says, I'm glad to be here. Aw, we're glad to have you in here. Emma says, welcome to the group, Iris. Eden says, I love crocheting, knitting too. <laughs> Exclamation marks. <laughs> so do I. So do we all. <clears throat> I don't know. My my voice is probably hoarse just because, yeah, I don't know. Just I, I sound really rough today. Cheryl says, Glamma, I am kind of having that problem with squares I am making. What I have found is that some of the yarn is thicker than other yarn, even if it is the same brand. Yep. Um, <clears throat> or different colors sometimes. So sometimes when you know that you're going to make a project and you know how many skeins it's going to take, buy them all right then and there because <clears throat> sometimes even though it's the same name, same color and everything, if it was made at a different time, like a different lot, is it called lot dye? Like there's different lot dye colors. Make sure, even if you're buying them all at the same time, make sure to look on the on the label that it's got the same number on it, the same lot dye number. I'm not sure if that's, I, I wish I had one with me so I could tell you exactly. But sometimes they're different colors and you can see a, a little variation. Um, 
and yeah I guess sometimes they're they are thicker and some chunk some chunkier and some thinner at times so yeah try to buy all your yarn at the same time and from the same lot um, Ira says, I love crocheting too, Glamma. Glamma learned me a lot. I love crocheting too. Glamma learned me a lot. So I'm the one that taught you from my YouTube channel. That's awesome. I, lo I, I love talking to people who say I had never crocheted and then I found your channel and I learned from you, Glamma, because it's like, oh, this is something. It makes me feel really warm and fuzzy inside because I know that once you learn how to crochet, most People who learn to crochet get hooked forever, for life. And so it just makes me feel good to know that someone learned from my channel. And this is something that they're going to carry with them probably throughout their whole life. So I know that um, I'll be on your mind once in a while when, when you crochet. Like, yeah, I learned from Glamma. <laughs> makes me feel so warm and fuzzy to know that. Because a lot of people say, I learned from my grandma. I learned from my mom. And those are really precious <clears throat> moments between a, a grandma and a granddaughter or a mom and a daughter and those are things that you never forget having that experience with your grandma or your or your mom and so I feel kind of the same way that it's kind of a special thing that you learned from my channel it's like we have a special relationship <laughs> um, Patricia says okay so I know that y'all are um, saying hi to each other but i just want to remind y'all that this isn't a chat room so um if y'all could kind of limit your comments to either questions for me or comments for me um um that would be awesome <laughs> because when i first started doing this live event it started becoming a chat room and i had to scroll through to finally find <clears throat> my name that someone was asking me something and then sometimes I was missing questions for me and comments for me because it started becoming a chat room so this is Glamour's live Q&A event so if y'all have questions or comments for me I'd love to hear them um, and this is basically my way of getting to know y'all and y'all getting to know me through questions and answers and stuff um, yeah so I, I know that kind of sound I hope it didn't sound mean maybe it did I don't I, I don't want it to be mean I just I don't want it to turn into a chat room again <laughs> uh oh my husband's ferret is going crazy in there <laughs> okay green energy says making a jacket and the yarn is thicker than than thinner throughout the yarn and my number of stitches match but it looks shorter on one side than the other don't know if I should add stitches to even it out. Hmm. You know, I find that sometimes with Karen Simply Soft, that sometimes the strand will get a little thinner. And I don't know why. It's almost like it doesn't have as many plies of yarn. Like maybe one of the plies got cut. And so now instead of maybe four plies, maybe it only has three plies because maybe, it, I don't know, in the, where, where they manufactured it, maybe, okay, I'll wait till my husband's done. Maybe where they manufactured it, um, it got cut somehow on the belt or something, but yeah, I have noticed that too, and I, I'm sorry, I don't know how to, I don't know how to answer that question, because that's never happened to me where it made such a difference in the size of the project that I've made. It usually happens for one or two stitches and then it goes back to the normal size of yarn. So I don't know, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You finally have a crochet question and I don't know how to answer that. Patricia says, love your hair, Glamour. Looks very nice. Oh, thank you. I just explained earlier when Emma said that it looked nice how I did it. I used a, um, I used an iron curler wand that looks kind of like an icicle. It, it, it's thicker in the, in the top and then it goes smaller on the bottom. And so you, you just grab that and you wind your hair around it and just hold it there for a couple, each, each little, um, I don't know, each little piece of hair you just hold for a few seconds so you don't burn your hair out. And then I didn't run my fingers through it or anything. I just left the curls wild. 
Um, so thank you. I thought I would curl. I thought I would do something to make myself feel better. <laughs> If I feel like I look nice on the outside, a lot of times it helps with my insides. I know that it shouldn't matter, but if you feel pretty, sometimes if you feel pretty on the outside, sometimes it helps you feel good on the inside. Um, and like I mentioned at the beginning of the live event, a lot has happened and I've been down a lot for this week or so. And so I just wanted to do something for myself. So I polished my nails and did my hair. <laughs> But thank you so much. Um, I'll do a tutorial on how I got my hair like this um, for my um, Glamaw's Beauty and Fitness Journal channel. I'm thinking of changing the name of my beauty channel. It used to be Glam It Up with Glamma. And I wasn't getting a lot of subscribers. And then I changed it to Glamaw's Beauty and Fitness Journal. And I started getting more subscribers. Weird, huh? But... I don't know if I want to keep doing the fitness portion of it, so I might take the word fitness out of it. So it might just be Glamaw's Beauty Journal. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe I'll change it back to Glam It Up with Glamaw. I really like that little catchphrase, Glam It Up with Glamaw. <laughs> or Glam It Up as Glamaw Learns to... I don't know. Anyway, forget it. My train of thought. I'm telling you, I'm not all here right now. Um... Layla, there's a Layla Hey Hadari. Is it Layla Hadari? She says, Hi, Glamma. I'm Layla from Austin, Texas. Love your vids. I wanted to ask if you can recommend where I can buy a set of Tunisian crochet hooks. Thank you, she says. Um, I ordered, I don't know the name of the store, but I just did a search on, um, on Amazon and I got like 12 Tunisian crochet hooks for like seven dollars wooden bamboo wooden cro um, Tunisian crochet hooks and I like them and um, so yeah that's inexpensive just go into Amazon and in the, in the search box just type in um, Tunisian crochet hooks and you'll probably find the same deal that I found because um, that's what popped up right at right at the beginning for me um, and then somebody was telling me Man, I don't know who it was in this channel. Um, if you want the wood to be a chi a shinier, oh my goodness, the Mexican in me is coming out. A shinier wood. Um, what did she say? Did she say to rub some kind of oil, either olive oil on all the hooks, and then put it on a baking on a cookie sheet? Man, I'm sorry, guys. I cannot think today. And then put all the hooks on a cookie sheet and then bake them in the oven for just a really minimal time. And I don't remember the time just so that the oil kind of seeps into um, the hooks and um, kind of just bakes into them. And so it'll be shinier and you won't have little if you get hooks that have little slivers in them, then that'll probably take that away. Oh, I know what she said. She also said file it or sand it, sand them first and then do the oil brush on the oil and then um, put them on a cookie sheet and bake them and it gets some it gets this really nice sheen color to the hooks I'm gonna I should stop talking shouldn't I <laughs> and then I also bought my Tunisian cable hooks on Amazon this I bought them the same day I bought the 12 um, straight Tunisian hooks and then I bought the 12 Tunisian circular hooks on there at the same time and the circular ones were maybe eight or nine dollars maybe they were seven as well but they're, they're not very expensive at all um so yeah that's where i would go i i go to amazon or ebay for a lot of stuff because it's usually a lot cheaper than buying it at the at like joann's or michael's or something like that so i hope that answers your question layla um, Eden says, what's your favorite crochet stitch? Ooh, I don't know if I have a favorite crochet stitch. Let me think. Hmm. I have no idea. <laughs> um, I know that I prefer doing, I mean, fancy stitch, I wouldn't even know which one to say basic stitches I know that I prefer doing either half double crochets or double crochets because it makes the projects go faster um 
I don't know. I have no idea. Because <laughs> um, I don't even, like, if I, do, if I do make combination stitches, I don't know what they're all called. Wow, that's that was a easy, tough question. Easy question, but tough for me to answer. <laughs> wow, maybe I don't want y'all to ask me questions. Just kidding. <laughs> I do. I just I don't think I have a favorite. They're all they're they're all awesome. <laughs> um, there was one that I did on my um. What did I call them? My my wrist warmers. Um, one of my tutorials, and I thought I didn't. I had never seen that stitch before, and I thought I kind of made it up, but I think I didn't. But I think I called it Glamma's herringbone stitch, and it looked really cute. So I like that one. But I know that I didn't make it up because later on someone says, "Oh no, that's called this, this, and this." I'm like, "Oh okay." I never watched a tutorial with that stitch in it before. Um, so yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I love all crochet stitches because I love crochet so much. Emma says, my next project is going to be the messenger bag. Yay! <laughs> I'd love to see you the finished messenger bag when you're all done with it. Iris says, yes, I learned it from you. Aw, cool! <laughs> you learned crochet from me. That's awesome. See, now we have a special relationship. <laughs> Cheryl says, when you talk about lots, would the numbers be the same for different colors? Um, no. Uh, man, I should just go get. Well, um, no, like, because it's a dye color. And so the, it's, the dye has a number. And then I think the lot, there might be one or two either letters or numbers off if it's the same color dye, but maybe came from it. Like maybe they made a thousand of them. And so all those thousand will have that lot dye number. Um, and then next week they made another thousand. It's going to have pretty much the same dye number, but a different lot number. Um, so yeah i hope that explains it a little bit but if you're if it's a totally different color like from blue to red it's going to be a totally different dye number because it's a different dye color yeah so and i don't even know if i'm calling it the right thing lot dye number because i don't have a wrapper with me right now um brooks kids hi brooks says hey glamma glad you did a live chat oh thank you <laughs> yeah i considered not doing it today just because um, kind of just having a hard week and as you can tell I'm having a hard time talking and thinking and answering questions I just I'm still very focused on my daughter and other things going on right now and wild cobra says hi glamma don't know if this was asked before which brand of yarn do you like working with red heart or Bernat I, I don't use Bernat very often um, but I think Bernat is softer. I felt it at the stores, but I don't, I might have bought some Bernat before and just haven't worked with it yet. Um, my favorite, favorite yarn, though, is Red Heart with Love. Not Red Heart Super Saver, but Red Heart with Love um, because it's so soft. Um, and the reason I use a lot of Red Heart Super Saver on my tutorials and I should tell everyone this during the tutorials that it doesn't mean you have to use this yarn. It's just that because I make so many tutorials, I buy the least expensive yarn um, just so that I'll have enough money to keep making tutorials. <laughs> so I buy the least expensive yarn. Um, but I know that Red Heart Super Saver is a little scratchy, especially the red. I find that the red Red Heart Super Saver is chunkier and scratchier than most colors even though it's the same ply of yarn and and the same brand of yarn um it seems to always come out thicker and scratchier and so i use red heart super saver a lot for my tutorials um and then i also explain how to soften up the yarn um because i know that it tends to be a little scratchy basically to to uh, you just kind of like soak it in either baby hair can baby shampoo or conditioner and just kind of move it around just kind of agitate it a little bit in a sink 
and then um, just kind of squeeze the excess out, excess water out, and then get a towel and roll your project up into the towel. Like maybe your towel's like this, fold the towel in half and put your project in it. And as you're rolling the project in the towel, push down and, and get the excess water out of the project and um, onto the towel. And when it dries, it dries a lot softer and less scratchy. Um, but I haven't worked with, so Roman, to answer your question, I haven't worked with Bernat very much, but I do know, at least from what I remember, it's a softer yarn. So I would probably say I, I like Bernat <laughs> um, better than Red Heart Super Saver. <clears throat> but I don't know that I would say that I like it better than Red Heart with Love. And some, some states don't carry Red Heart with Love um, in their stores or they carry very minimal colors. Um, I know that in Washington, they have less colors of that, at least at the Walmart over there, than they do at the Walmart here in Texas. Um, but I love Red Heart with Love because it's kind of a thick yarn, but yet very, very soft. Okay, it's 10.59, so I'll be um, saying goodbye here in a couple minutes. Emma says, what I have done with yarns that thin out like that is I cut it. Oh. You cut it and then just retie a new piece to it. Um, Patricia says, "I you ordered the beauty blender. Oh, cool. <laughs> I think it's like $17, right, for one or for, I'm not sure how much the one that my husband got me. Mine came with two of them and the little kit with the little soap to wash it off later. I'm not sure what he paid for that, but I know that you can buy one single one for like $17. Um, but yeah, I love the Beauty Blender. I used it today. I waited three months <laughs> to use it because I wanted to wait till I could open up the package on camera on my beauty channel and to use it for the first time with y'all. Um, so yeah, I finally used it last week and you saw the video. And so now I'm, I get to use my Beauty Blender every day. And it kind of gives you an airbrushed look because you wet it and then you use your foundation and stuff. And so it gives you more of a, and it sets it in better too, I think. Um, so yeah, I love it. I used mine today. <laughs> so let me know how you like it when you get it. Um, and you might wanna watch other YouTube tutorials on how to use it. Cause like I said, that was my first time using it and there's probably better ways to use it or um, yeah, cause I'm new at using that. So I'm glad you got one, yay. <laughs> Um, oh, I think I missed a comment up there earlier. Um, Brooks said, hey, Glamma, glad you did a live chat. And then I missed Renee's comment that said, did not sound offensive at all. Oh, okay. When I said that this can't, this shouldn't become a chat room, thank you. I, I, I didn't know how to say it without sounding mean. <laughs> um, so thanks. I'm glad no one took offense to it. Um, now, where did I leave off? Leela, is it Leela? Is it Leela or Layla? I don't know. Says, yes, you pronounced it correctly. So Layla, because I've been saying Layla. So Layla says, you pronounced it correctly. My hair is touching my nose and it's making me itch. <laughs> and thank you for your response, running over to Amazon to check it out. Yay! <laughs> Let me know if you find the same deal that I did. Harold Peru 001 says, hello, Glamma. To finish the edges using the crab about, crab about, is that a typo? Tell me if there are other ways to give good finish to the edges. Thanks for the reply and thousand kisses from Lima, Peru, where if you, where if you eat rich. So Harold, um, Hi, for one thing, hi, <laughs> welcome to my live event. And I'm not sure what the question is. I'm not sure if that's a typo. Um, Cause you said to finish the edges using the crab about, I'm not, usually I can figure out the typos, what, what, what y'all are trying to say, but that one has stumped me. I am so sorry, but I will take your love from Peru from you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I'll take the kisses and the hugs from Peru. Um, but yeah, if you can retype that, I'll wait for your question again before I say goodbye, because I'm about to say goodbye. And if I can answer it, I'll definitely answer it once you uh, 
unless that is what you meant and I've never heard of the crab about. <laughs> um, Iris says, I have a question. I am making a bear for my mother and I try to crochet as tight as I can, but I still get some gaps. What am I doing wrong? Um, I don't think you're doing anything wrong because I've only made three Amigurumi projects and I actually am kind of a tight crocheter. My tension is kind of tight, which I'm, I'm trying to loosen up on my tension. Um, but I don't think you're doing anything wrong, especially when they're telling you to crochet two stitches together. You're going to have a little bit of a gap in there because you're taking two stitches and turning them into one. So there's a little bit of a gap there because you're, you're bringing one stitch from here, one stitch from there and bringing it like this. But you're still getting that gap from this from this part of the stitch and that part of the stitch, even though you're bringing them together. So especially if you're doing decreases, um, you're going to have some gaps. Um, and I purposely try not to crochet too tight because then it, then it makes, at least I've noticed that it makes, if I'm using Red Heart Super Saver, it makes the plush toy harder and not so squeezable and plush. <laughs> um, but I don't think you're doing anything wrong. I think it's just... You're, you, depending on what yarn you're using, I use Red Heart Super Saver on a lot of mine. You're using a chunky yarn with a smaller hook. I don't know. I don't think you're doing anything wrong, though, because I don't have one of the toys that I made for the girls here. But I did notice that you can see the white stuffing that the fiber fill that I put into the little dogs. You can see a little bit of white through through the little um, stitch holes. So I just think that's the way it is. <laughs> Unless you're using a lighter color, you really won't be able to see the fiber fill. But um, Harold says, Glamma, do you speak Spanish? Si, yo hablo español. <laughs> um, I do speak Spanish. I read it, write it, and speak it. However, as I mentioned, maybe you've watched some of my live events, I don't speak it very often because I tend to stutter in Spanish. <laughs> so I usually stick to English. <laughs> If I get a Spanish speaking person that doesn't understand English at all and they ask me a question, then I usually try to respond in Spanish on my on the comments. Um, Patricia says, I made Ninja Turtle hats, one red, one orange. Now I still have to make the blue and purple for the rest of the grandkids. Yay! I had fun making those Ninja Turtle hats. I kind of just made up the pattern on my own and then changed it for the adult size. And I had a lot of fun and it was so easy. I hope y'all found it easy to make. So yay, I can't wait to see pictures. Nancy Anias, An Anais one says, I am a new beginner. I did your headband, the first thing I did. Aw, but can't wait to get really good at it. I want to make a scarf for my mom and a girl outfit someday. You are beautiful. Aw, thank you. Thank you, Nancy. Um. So yay, are you hooked? <laughs> are you hooked on crochet like the rest of us? And how did your headband turn out? What color did you make it? I should quit asking questions because I already said I'm going to say goodbye. And I'm going to have to wait for the answers. But I hope it turned out great. And I hope I explained it easy enough. Um, I try really hard to explain my tutorials in a way that is easy for beginners to learn. And in a way where advanced crocheters aren't going to get irritated with me explaining things so simply um, which I did get one I've only gotten one person say you sound like you're talking you you're making me feel like I'm a kindergartner the way you're explaining things to me but that person didn't under, doesn't understand that I'm not just making tutorials for the advanced crocheters I'm making them for an array of crocheters um, my youngest subscriber I think is nine eight or nine and then I've got all the way up to 70, 80, 90 years old. Um, so I have to be able to explain it in a way where everyone can understand it. So, um, but thank you for your compliments. <laughs> and uh, I can't wait to see pictures of your um, headband and all the other projects that you end up making. You should go join my Facebook group page if you haven't already. It's um, Glamma's All Crafts Show and Tell Circle. So just type that into the search box or I think under each of my videos, there should be a link to it. Just click on it and go and join. So you can either, you can even post pictures in there too. And Harold from Peru says, please, Glamma, 
that point, I can give a nice finish to the edges and crochet. Thanks for the reply. Okay, so you're saying please, Glamma, but I still don't understand the question up there. Um, so if you can, I didn't understand when you said the crab about. So I don't know what you're saying. I'm so sorry. Um, does anyone else in here know what he's talking about? If so, let me know down below. Explain it to me down below so that I can answer him. Um, I, I, I would love to reply. I just don't understand the question. I'm so sorry. Um, Eden says, I'm going to do your granny square tissue box tutorial. Cool. Um, someone told me that it came out too tight for the for the tissue box that they made but mine came out a teeny bit too big so what i ended up doing on the bottom of that is i ended up um crocheting a drawstring and then i i weaved the drawstring into the bottom and then just put a little bow on the bottom because it came out a little too loose so if it's if it looks like it's coming out too loose you can do that put a drawstring down on the bottom or you can go down a hook size or if you're finding that it's too tight um then you might want to go up a hook size. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to see your granny square tissue box. <laughs> that was a request um, by someone, a young girl that was either 10 or 12. Forget her name now. I, I can see her face, but I can't remember her name. I think it started with a K. But anyway, she had requested that from me, so I finally came up with a design and made that. And Cheryl says, oh, yes, the red is thicker. That is one that I used, and it was like my square was double the size of the others. Yeah, isn't that crazy? I wonder why. I wonder what it is. Is It, it can't be the dye that makes it, I don't know. It's just weird. So I don't, I don't use red that often just because it's scratchy, and it's real thick, and it makes, it, it's not as pliable. It's not, it doesn't move as easy. Nancy says, how about fabric softener for the red heart? Yeah, that's a that's a good idea. Try that and just kind of put it in there and just kind of agitate it with your hands. That sounds like it might work. And then just rinse it off really good. Um, Iris says, I can't get my grannies, I can't get my granny squares the same size. One is always a bit bigger than the other. Hmm. And you're using the same size hook, right? Um, and I know that at the beginning, <clears throat> your tension does tend to, to change because you haven't really developed your tension, um, your permanent tension. Um, so sometimes you might be a little bit more like that, ah, more, uh, more nervous or, and so you might crochet tighter. Other times you might be more relaxed and crochet a little looser. That's the only thing I can, I can figure if you're not using a different size hook or maybe you're using a different yarn and so maybe the plies are different or the thickness of the yarn just happens to come out thicker. I don't know. Um, but if you're following the same instructions, they should come out the same size unless it's different yarn or different hook size or different tensions that you're using. <clears throat> Iris says, I live in the Netherlands and we don't have red heart yarn. Thank you for answering my question. It helps me a lot. Oh, thank you. You're welcome, Iris. Um, the Netherlands. Ooh, yeah, I don't think Red Heart, unless, I wonder if you go to redheart.com, I wonder if you can order it from there. I wonder if they ship to the Netherlands. You might want to try that. And if I was you, I would try Red Heart with love if they do ship to the Netherlands, because you'll love it. It's soft. Emma says, bye, everyone. Got errands to do. Good chat. Catch you next week. Have a blessed day, everyone. Lisa says, so anyway, bye, Emma. <laughs> and, um, I'll talk to you on Monday, and I have to say goodbye too. So the last comment that I see is from Patricia that says goodbye, Glamma. So I've got a couple in between there. I'll read those, and then I'll say my goodbyes. Um, Lisa says, have a great day and prayers for a better week. Thank you, Lisa. Um, and then Nancy says, headband is pink and beige, and yes, definitely hooked. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so that means um, you'll be visiting my channel hopefully more often and crocheting along with me. And Iris said, and don't forget to go and uh, in, anyone in here that's still in here, um, don't forget to go and um, join my Facebook group page because I'm in there like 99% of the day, 99% of the time I'm in there doing something, commenting. So it says I still have eight people watching. So if y'all haven't gone and joined, go join. <laughs> and 
Iris says, yes, I'm using the same size hook. Yeah, the only thing I can figure then, if you're using the same yarn and same hook, is that maybe your tension is just a little different. Um, so, yeah, that's about all I can really, um, that's all I can think about that of why it would come out differently. So Patricia says, goodbye, Glamma and everyone. OK, I'm going to read one last one because I said Patricia's was going to be the last one. But now Iris said something. I'm going to try that from the website. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Um, so anyway, let me know next week if you end up being able to order Red Heart. Um, so anyway, um, I'm going to go go ahead and say goodbye because um, I'm a little, blah, 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 I can't talk today anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I've been on for a little over an hour. Nancy says, adios, nice chatting with you. Adios, Nancy. <laughs> um, so I will talk to y'all next week. And thank you so much for joining me here um, on today's live event. And um, yeah, I hope I have a better week next week too, <laughs> or this week. So don't forget that I love you. Don't forget Glamour loves you. And don't forget to love yourselves as much as I love you. And very importantly, don't forget to love everyone else that you come in contact with. I am very, very anti-bullying. And I know that if we can love everyone that we come in contact with, have nothing but kind words to say to other people, that I know the your little piece of the world that you're living in, the people you touch um, will be a better place, a better world. And all we can do is work in our immediate area to better things in our immediate circles. But if we're kind to people, love everyone, um, then, you know, it should stop. The bullying should stop. The ugliness should stop. So anyway, don't forget that I love you. Don't forget to love yourselves and don't forget to love everyone you come in contact with. Okay. Mwah. I love you. <laughs>